It's Gabby Van Wigan. This is Soren. So good to see you again. You too. Thank you. You're known as the classic space guy, but this year you brought something new, the second year in a row. Yeah. What is it? This year is compared to last year, I have like a big fantasy village, but it's the same idea. I built something fantasy medieval, medieval but I kind of scaled it down so it was easier to transport, but still have a lot of focus on detail and color schemes. So that's what this is all about. Okay, you have um, a lot of buildings here. We start on the left. What do we see right here? Yeah, this, this one is actually the first house I built in this small series. And um, it's just the, what can you say, the count of, this, of the village. Um, having his house and his, uh, yeah, his outside areas. And again, I like the colors you choose. Was it easy for you to pick those colors? No, not, not for the first time because I... I invested a lot of time on finding out how the the island that the house is built on how it should look in in natural earth colors so a lot of moving back and forth and finding out what it should look like and then I wanted, wanted the house to look like it was like white chalk and then yeah. we have a very lovely looking mill and it's always yeah. not easy to build round with no. Lego bricks so That's true. which uh, technique do you use here it's uh, these new uh, one by two, um, one by two plates with the round corners, and because of the round corners, you easily can make a cylinder because the round corners are not twisting each other too much, so you can bend the whole circle. So therefore, you you can by doing this technique, you can create small cylinders and still make it look like yeah, a round windmill, for example. And right next to this build, uh, this looks to me like a farmhouse. What it, is it? It is, it is kind of like a farmhouse. Ah. You can see the, the tall roof is inspired by early American farmhouses. Um, and again, new, new colors and uh, new details and techniques all around. And then we have a really good looking build again, another one. Yep. Uh, what is going on there? This seems to be a magical thing there. It is actually the, the witch house, uh, Staful, which I like to call her. And uh, it's her house and you can see it's a, it's a female house because of the, the pink colors and all that and, and purple colors. Um, also again I wanted to make sure that each house goes for the, uh, for the platform and for the house doesn't look too familiar, so all the colors are different from each house as much as possible. And then we have one more build, so yeah. one more house. Um, one more house, just uh, like the other ones, it's just a, a house for, for a couple of citizens for the village. Um, yeah, not so much to say about actually. And there's a place for the horses. Yeah, the horse stable is something I created last week. I actually had one more house back home to choose from, but I chose to bring the horse table because then it was not all just houses. As you know, I love your builds and this looks awesome. The only thing I'm missing this time, it is not a whole layout. No. So is there a plan for the future? Yeah, there is actually a plan for, for a, a future because I want to build a couple of more buildings like a, a blacksmith and that should be like a tavern or something. Uh, but the whole idea that all these islands will be placed in a big lake in, in different heights oh. and within between each houses I will create like a, a small path like a bridge something like that curbled and twisted like you know from fantasy films and all that and maybe some some floating rock pieces taller than the houses to make it look like yeah it's in some fantasy world two last questions is there interior in the houses no they are just all inside okay. because uh, the, the the walls are, are constructed in, in many special ways to make it look like it's yeah. falling apart so it's okay. uneven <laughs> it looks awesome from this view and it's such great build and Thank my you. last question Saron yeah. where are all those blue and gray parts are gone they are still back home in uh, in my storage uh, someday they may be, uh, be brought to life again I'm not pretty sure within a couple of years maybe who knows my good friend Saron here in Skabeck. Hope to see you again next year and keep on building. Thank you. You too. Bye. Take care. Bye.